All right, let's go ahead and remove this defective DC valve made by Dorman. First, let's disconnect the harness here. And we'll remove two T40 bolts that secure it to the manifold. and we'll just wiggle the whole unit back from the manifold. Wow. As you can see, the flap unit here is completely covered in oil, and all of the orange gasket material is completely melted and eroded away from where it should be on this unit. From what I've read, this is a common problem with the Dorman units, and it's highly recommended that you do not use any of the cheaper brands or off third party brands uh, from China. Now, that being said, I'm going to go with this Ryan Automotive unit, also made in China but this tends to have a better reputation and depending on where you order it from you can get a lifetime warranty from places such as FCP Euro. Now we can test the vacuum on this flap by put it, placing a finger over this hole and it seems to hold up pretty well. Now someone clearly used make a gasket or RTV silicone on here previously to seal some intake leaks, probably from the poorly fitting Chinese Dorman unit. So we'll just clean off all of that shit first and install the new unit. the new unit back in. Carefully reinstall the T40 Torx bolts evenly. And don't forget the connector. Okay, let's start the car and see if that horrible noise is gone. Let's take a look inside the car. Just want to show you guys what my average MPG is right now. This is mostly city and a little highway combined. It's 17.5 miles per gallon. Uh, with this new diesel valve though, I will expect this to climb hopefully into the 20, 21 mile per gallon range mixed. Uh, this diesel valve really controls all of the low end power um, aside from the Vanos, basically the DESA valve has a uh, flap that regulates the intake runner length and that has a lot to do with your you know, low end acceleration, um, the idle, and fuel economy. So I will check back in and report maybe in the comments or something uh, within a month and see how this has impacted the fuel economy of this car. 
As always, if this video helped you out, please smash that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.